Hello everyone welcome to my channel, if Argentina loses to Mexico, he won't even go to the round of 16 in Qatar, despite being, the most famous number 10. Tata Martino is so well known that his situation is exceptional. On the eve of Saturday's historic match against his native Argentina, Mexico coach said, to reporters, I know where I was born, I'll provide the year, the hospital's name, and the city's area code. But if I want Mexico to win, I have to take whatever action I can. He must stop Lionel Messi, a player he formerly coached at Barcelona, in order to accomplish this. Martino proclaimed, at least the best footballer of the last 15 years. When it comes to stopping him, the opposition usually fails to do so because he is having a poor afternoon. A poor performance at the Lucille Stadium would be disastrous for Messi. His reputation at the World Cup is at stake. There are no valid defenses. This is possibly the best Argentina team he's ever played, or at the very least the most cohesive. They were undefeated in 36 games when they came in Qatar. They could break the global record at any point. However, they lost their season opener to Saudi Arabia, a team ranked 48 places lower than them in the globe. 2. 1. It was definitely up there with the biggest World Cup era upsets in terms of shock value. In the locker room, his players sat in startled silence as Lionel Scaloni acknowledged that they were all in anguish. They weren't the only ones finding it difficult to accept their setback. After the game, one Argentine journalist was seen sobbing in the mixed zone. It was, as Scaloni admitted, a sad day. But it had begun so brilliantly, with Messi quickly converting a simple penalty kick to make up for his missed opportunity in Argentina's opening match against Iceland four years prior. They paid a steep price, as Saudi Arabia pulled off a stunning shock due to Salah al Sherry and Salem El Dasari. After failing to gauge Saudi Arabia's high line and having three first half goals disallowed for offside, Scaloni, who was obviously in shock, said, It is tough to understand since in 4 to 5 minutes, they scored twice. They appeared to be the only shots that were on goal. But even if the Saudis had simply ridden their luck, there was no doubting that the Argentines had utterly failed to handle adversity. Many players did poorly. Angel Di Maria's awful performance caught Roy Keane's attention on ITV, while Cristiano Romero's performance necessitated his replacement during the second half. Leandro Paredes and Rodrigo de Paul looked exactly like the two players they are. Two players who haven't played regular football this season. The midfield, however, was a horror show. Unsurprisingly, Messi was the target of the harshest internet abuse. Even the son of Diego Maradona, who is considered one of the greatest players of all time, insulted his GOAT title and made the customary and favorable comparisons. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos and do like comment and share this video.